Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. The court was shown four plans of Depp and Amber Heard's Los Angeles penthouses, where they lived when they were still married during the Pirates of the Caribbean star's testimony. Here's a look inside Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's former LA penthouse. But before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Number 5. Depp's Life's Recent Heavy Events in April 2022, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard made news due to the actor's ex-wife's highly publicized defamation action. This quickly backfired and revealed the abusive nature of Depp's wife and her physical assault against the actor. It's important to mention that the actor was banned from many films and thrown off active projects as a result. In recent news, Johnny Depp now explained how he paid Amber Heard's $7 million divorce settlement to causes she identified, only to be confronted with a tirade afterwards. According to Fox, the Pirates of the Caribbean star chose to pay Amber Heard's divorce settlement straight to the charity she named in public. Ms. Heard was very, very furious that I had paid those initial payments, she said after learning. After that, Depp said, she went into a sort of diatribe about how I should be charged twice the $7 million. I should be charged $14 million. Number 4. How Depp and Heard Acquired Their Penthouses in Los Angeles Depp and Heard initially met on the set of The Rum Diary in 2009 when they played love interests to one another. Depp and Heard started dating three years after Johnny and his longtime wife, Vanessa Paradis, broke their relationship. The couple married on February 5, 2015, and resided in one of Depp's downtown Los Angeles penthouses. The apartments are in the East Columbia building, which was built in the Art Deco style. Between 2013 and 2016, Depp had five different penthouses on the building's top level, according to The Independent. Isaac Barich, the star's close friend, was permitted to live in one home and utilize the other as an art studio. Depp and Heard had an additional terrace in the apartment next to Barich. Whitney Heard, Heard's sister, resided in one, while friends of the couple lived in the other. Three of the apartments were linked together via doors. The penthouses were next to the building's rooftop pool, featured hardwood flooring, large ceilings with mezzanine levels, industrial-looking stairs, and contemporary kitchens, and gave views of the city. With colorfully painted bohemian-themed bedrooms and art deco baths, most of the interior design reflects Depp's particular style. Number 3. Depp has also named other assets after Amber Heard. The ma Depp had a huge mansion in the Hollywood Hills since 1995, which he purchased for $1.8 million at the time. The main residence has 8 bedrooms and 10 baths, and is 7,430 square feet. The actor previously owned a whole French town named Le Plan de la Tour, which is located only 10 miles from Saint-Tropez. Depp spent an extra $10 million to repair and refurbish several of the stone structures on the estate, which were erected in 1812. A swimming pool, a private restaurant called Café Marcheline, and an art studio are all on the premises. Depp also possessed a boat, which he bought for $18 million. It was named after Amber, but he had to get rid of it due to the high expense of care. He eventually sold it to J.K. Rowling, the creator of the Harry Potter series. Number 2. Depp's Private Island Depp also owned a whole island in the Bahamas. In 2004, he bought Little Hall's Pond K, a 45-acre island. He paid $3.6 million for the property alone, and he began developing it right away. He named several of the island's beaches after his children and their mother, including Paradise, Lily Rose, and Jack. Lush greenery, beautiful dunes, and crystal blue seas characterize the island. I don't believe I'd ever seen any place so pure and gorgeous, Depp has said of his little piece of heaven. Your heart rate has slowed by roughly 20 beats. It's an instantaneous liberation. Depp has had to liquidate several of his properties, including the island, due to his financial problems over the years. Number 1. Details of the penthouse's interiors Depp had entrances constructed to link three of the apartments, according to real estate agent Kevin Dees of Partners Trust. Between 2007 and 2008, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor paid about $7.2 million for the properties. The penthouses are located in downtown Los Angeles' historic Art Deco-style Eastern Columbia building. In the bright sunshine of Los Angeles, the Eastern Columbia building is stunning. The multi-floor and neighboring penthouses feature a total of 11,500 square feet, with 9 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. You may also love to learn about the architectural history of Depp's penthouses. Four of the apartments feature two bedrooms, while one has just one. One of the penthouses was utilized by Depp as an art studio, another as a guest suite, demonstrating how lovely it must be to be friends with a big spender. 
The penthouses were adorned by Depp, with vibrant colors and varied art, including a painting by Brazilian street artist Oz Gimios. Depp has a propensity for making his kitchens the focal point of his residences. The kitchens are brilliantly colored, well stocked and equipped, and they pride themselves on being the heart of the penthouses. There are many kitchens in some penthouses. Depp is brave to use zebra wallpaper in his bathroom, despite the fact that it is an unusual choice. If you're interested, Kevin Dees and Nick Siegel of Partners Trust have the properties mentioned. That brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoy the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.